Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome to another video. Today, as you can see, we are here in Giants Editor. As you can see, there is a um, bunch of fields, a bunch of land here pictured. We are here on my new map, Nebraska Hills. Um, so this is going to be the first video that I do on it. Uh, today, I'm just going to kind of show you guys what I've done so far. And, um, it's just kind of going to be an overview of it and kind of let you know what's to come, uh, here soon. But, uh, so yeah, the map is called Nebraska Hills, like I said. Uh, the reason that I chose that name is because of the area that, um, oops, not videos, um, the area that this map is based off of, uh, loosely based off of, I should say. Um, if we open up Google Earth here, we'll head to the area. Once it gets loaded up here. Alright, we'll zoom on into the area here. See, as you can see, we are here in Nebraska. Right here is Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, and I am literally just on the outskirts of it, just to the east. So you can kind of see the area here. Um, the reason I say it is loosely based, because the only thing that's, like, remotely the same is the four roads. Um, so this one running, um, let's see, is that north-south? Yeah, the one running north and south is a highway. The all, um, all three of the ones running east-west are gravel roads. Um, well, that's that's how I'm planning on doing it anyways. Um, actually, it's the other way around in real life, that the east and west roads are highways, and this is a north-south, I think. Something like that. But anyway, I'm making my east-west roads uh, gravel roads, and my north-south is going to be a highway. Um... But if I take off the visibility of that, you can see I have a bunch of fields in here. For the most part, I'm kind of sticking, you know, to the way that they are, but I'm also making them a little bit different. Um, like, for example, you know, this field right here, this is like two different fields, I think, or something like that. Um, granted, I did make it two different fields, but I just kind of did them a little bit differently, you can see. Uh, another good example would be... Uh, right up in here, you can see there's one field, there's a second field here, there's a little field there, and then this field. Um, I just made it one big field. So you can see, you know, I'm kind of making some differences, but, uh, you know, I am doing a lot of similarities. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just loosely basing it off of this area. I'm not, like, sticking true to this. Um, the map is flat right now. I did a couple of um, live streams on the map, and um, I had a few people commenting on, oh, well, your map's flat. Well, with running this, you know, guide right here, having hilly terrain would be absolutely insane, and it would make it so difficult to paint these fields. Um, I'm just going to close the Giants editor here and I'm going to throw in the, um, the terrain file that I have. So the terrain for the map, I took the DEM from the No Creek Farms map and, um, I put that into the map. So if I load it up, you guys will see what I'm talking about here. So now if we bring up the sign, see, it's not even... You know, I'm not even seeing the sign. I pull it up. Okay, now I'm starting to see it. But now, like, to try and get my guide, it's literally the biggest pain in the butt ever. But you guys can see, you know, it's full of hills and everything. You know, I like the way that the No Creek terrain is. So I decided to, decided to pull that DEM off of that map and throw it in here. Um, you know, I didn't really want to make my own DEM for this map. Um, I just didn't really feel like doing it. 
I mean, not really sure why I just just didn't. Um, this must be the last field that I did last night. But uh, yeah, so you can see there is quite an array in sizes of fields. You know, there's a couple small ones, a couple you know really large ones here. Uh, the fields seem to get larger as you go a little bit more north um, on the map. We'll just hop up to the PDA. So you can see as you go north, the fields seem to get a little bigger. You got three smaller ones, but they're a little bit long down here along the uh, southern border. And then we got the few big ones there in the kind of northern part there. Um, so yeah, once once I get all of the fields painted in, then I will be putting the terrain file into the map and leaving it so uh, what I like to do when I'm doing maps with terrain like this um, is I'll ma map out where my roads are going to be um, sometimes like that's the case with this one you know I mapped out in asphalt I have where the highway will go and then obviously these are the gravel roads um, I am going to be changing all the textures I'll be changing the grass the crop textures the field textures the uh, terrain textures I'll be changing all that stuff at some point as well um, I'm just starting off with doing all the fields and then I'll throw this terrain file in there keep the file in there and start doing the rest of my work by adding in the highway and adding the farms and the town and all of that fun stuff um, you know I just I personally like doing the fields first um, and then it kind of gives me the layout of the rest of the map but um, yeah, so that's kind of a look at what I'm working on. I know I mentioned it in my last video that I made, so I just kind of wanted to show you guys around the map. Uh, I will be doing some videos. I may actually record one here right now. I do plan to work on the map for a little bit, but, uh, uh, it'll be a time-lapse video and I'll put some music over it, um, you know, while I do some more fields and stuff like that on the map. Um... But, uh, yeah, so, uh, that's just kind of a look at the map so far. Um, obviously, it doesn't look like much right now, but it'll look a whole lot different uh, once the fields are done. Then I'll be able to start adding all the detail and all that stuff to it and whatnot. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. I know a little bit short, but uh, at least it's something to put out there. But uh, that'll do it for me today. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And I will see you guys in the next video.